slash stream of Chrono Trigger. Hopefully my audio is um, louder than the game audio today, at least for today. And uh, so let's get back to where we were. That was the beautiful, beautiful intro of this fine show. What do you, what do you think you're doing? Okay. So yeah, yeah, was loaded. Welcome everybody. Um, if y'all don't know what's going on thus far, been missing. I do have uh, chat pulled up on the other computer today. Hey there, Rick. Too good. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. What happened to Skyrim? Um, we are currently attempting to get to level 78, and so I'm kind of doing that in my off time. And we will uh, sprinkle that in uh, as we tidy it up. But we're, we're almost done with Skyrim. So we're just kind of uh, getting a whole nother series kind of jump started as it stands right now. Okay, looks like everybody's fully healed. Yep. So let's try it again. We're basically going to rely on the one chick to do all the killing while the other two heal everybody who's getting damaged. I think that's the tactic we will use. And hope for the best. <laughs> so I see where your money's really going there, Rick. I see where it's really going. Like them thick girls. Alright, we'll just keep on landing on thick. Next round will be healing round. We'll see if we can alternate back and forth. It may come to a point where we have no choice but to just constantly heal. Next round's probably gonna have to be a heal round. Especially if they hit her again. Okay, go ahead and lay it on. got hit, so, yeah. Probably to end up the battle, it's all gonna have to rely on uh, Pookie. That was a bad move right there. Uh, we didn't really accomplish anything with that. Aside from burning up magic points, so, not a good choice. Situations like that, yeah, it makes sense. Everybody got taken down by about 100, might as well heal everybody by about 100. I think uh, SCS really took the hardest hit on that one. We fucked him up! High five, everybody! If only Lord Magus had destroyed the human race 400 years ago, when he first brought forth Ravos, the world would belong to us fiends now. So something happened 400 years ago involving a character named Ravos, which we know from, if you watch the YouTube series or the original startup of this series, Ravos 
is essentially Alduin the World Eater. Except he came in as an asteroid and just started consuming the world's power from the core. He's into thermodynamics. But, yeah. So there you go, guys. Fucking kick some ass. We didn't actually have to grind that hard, either. It's always a good thing. Who's this? Actually, I haven't got to meet this character yet. Pookie and Tavin are always off drinking with their latest inventions. I bought you this apple with what we earned today. All he earned today was enough to buy an apple. You're so thoughtful. Hey, fuckface McCoy. Can't talk to him now. Pretty cool house, though. Alright, well, that's actually the first time that we've been into Pookie's house on this stream, so, or Luca, whatever you want to call her, so we can jump into the vortex from where? Right here. So that'll, that'll take us from one shore to the other, um, we already broke free of the king's rule there, let's see, look at all this desert. But hear that music, guys. This is the shit. This is my childhood. There's another town. So, there is an interesting thing somewhere over here. Let me see, where is it at? Children are slipping away from us. It's so painful to see. I run this town. I'm so rich, I don't know what to do with it all. Give you 10 G's if you spin around three times and cluck like a chicken. Or not. Boring. Okay, so everybody's an asshole here. I think once we get the Epoch, the Wings of Time, it'll be a little bit easier. Which we're going to name it the TARDIS, by the way, because it's a time-traveling device, so it's going to be a TARDIS. What is it, time and dimension in space, TARDIS? All right, so let's go check in on our dear old mother. See what she's got going on. Cody! Oh, Cody, you had me so worried. They said you were to be executed. They tried. They fucking tried. Don't worry, your mother like that. Don't worry, your mother like that. All right, well, me and these two bitches are gonna go up to my room. and heal. <laughs> All right, I feel refreshed. Slightly slimy and slippery, but refreshed. Okay, guys, so. Let's get some of the portals connected back to the end of time. Um, again, this chip really doesn't matter once you get into the semantics of it all. Um, there we go. So that gives us the option to go to Truce Canyon. And this should be the Million Fair, Millennial Fair. Yeah, the end square. All right. So, this is where we're actually gonna go. Not for any real purpose. We're just gonna go there and see what all we can find out. As far as furthering the story goes. I mean, it's, it's a delight, Winter. Don't, don't, don't mind me. I feel better, so much better. Just like I knew that I would. Mm. 
Mmm, warm beer. So let's see what all has changed here since the last time we came through town. So we got our beautiful cathedral. It's actually empty now. I'll go ahead and show you all that. It is empty after we did our extermination. It wasn't religious, I swear. Despite it being a, despite it being a cathedral, it, it, it most definitely was not religious. Maybe sacrilege, and we just kind of cleared it out um, using the cover. Much like a church taking donations and then the pastor pocketing it all. Pastor? Yeah, pastor, not pasture. Pastor pocketing all the money. This was a very corrupt cathedral. Except instead of the pastor pocketing money. Oh, 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 we have a bridge, guys. This is actually built. Um, he was kidnapping queens and killing them. We have a fight ahead of us. Our provisions are depleted. Have, this, uh, have the supplies still not arrived from the castle? We'll starve at this rate. Castle needs some interaction, apparently, because the gold-armored guy said so. And as far as fighting through here, we're going to kind of try to skim past the fights, but no promises. This isn't the one that has the shimmering shit. Hey, we did a pretty bang-up job on that one. We're just not really needing to necessarily level grind this moment, so that's all. Halt, who goes there? I'm a hoe. Oh, it's your bitch ass. Yeah, that's me. And no royalty here. Well, that's cool. We were looking for provisions anyways, so let's look for an officer of provisioning. Provisions of the provised? Yeah. We'll go with that one. Hey, cock. Hey, 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 hey! Peter Puffer. What? My brother's larders are nearly empty. Hmm. Serves him right. Thinking you men with swords are only ones protecting this kingdom. Enough of that! He has a very masculine-ish wife. Are you never going to set aside your petty feud? You're growing, you're grown men. Act like it. <laughs> Brooding pause. Mind your own business. What do you know of it anyways? Grumble, grumble, motherfucker, bitch ass, cock sucking cunt. Come on now, time is wasting. Okay. Those two are really looking for a way to make up, though neither will admit it. All right, Sarah the Gossip Bitch. Let's go ahead and proceed on out. Um, what, have you, what do you know? Has his hands full trying to get food to the front lines while making sure the king keeps up his strength. Okay, king has strength issues. All right. Wait! Never mind. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. Take this to the troops. Obtain spiced jerky. And this is for you. Here. Strength capsule. So somebody can gain some strength. When you see that fool brother of mine, tell him he better not suck dick. Not in a discriminatory way, and like sucking dick isn't losing the battle. Could that be discriminatory still? Ah, who knows? All right, guys. I am going to. Yeah, it is discriminatory, probably. Maybe he doesn't need to go to bed. Uh, wow, a little too much, Cody. Ah, well, too bad. It's always going to be too much. Welcome to the stream.
God bless cocaine, right? Kidding. Maybe. Anyway. Sorry, I love this game. Now that it's actually moving, I was getting bored with it before. So, now I'm actually, like, kind of stoked. Hey, I got some jerk off. Jerky. Give him the food. The Feed Lord has sent in reinforcements. It's far too dangerous to allow you through. Lord Cody, what word? Give him the food? Yeah, yeah, we'll give it to him now. But you're like, ah, <laughs> we got some jerky. It was my brother? I see. He saved us all. The true victory of this battle. We'll go ahead and ignore the fact that we're about to go win this battle for them. But the real hero was the chef. Reminder, kids, always play with your meat. You might get paid for it. Cooking meat, I mean. Unless Pornhub. Anyways, Lord Cody, if I should not return alive, give my brother my thanks. Well, the one thing was, you have to return alive. What happened? Somebody got their ass beat. Troops have launched their attack. Our defense will not hold. But... This music, man! Are you sure we're not winning? Oh! Alright. You are Knights of Guardia. I'm Guardian. Oh, wait, what is it? I'm the Sand Guardian. Guardian of the Sand. Okay. You are the Knights of Guardia. Defend the, <laughs> defend the honor of my our order. And drive the enemy back whence it came. But we are far outnumbered. You're fucking right! This is our last line of defense. It must not break. Well, uh, very well, my lord. I am the sand guardian. Guardian of the sand. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, alright. Well, sounds like, uh, cold arms. I think these guys require magic, but I don't remember what type of magic. Oh, great. Five of them. <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna... Go, my children, take them to their graves. Zero damage for magic. Okay. Enough to kill him. Over a hundred. Enough to kill him. All right. Nope, nope, battle ended. Stronger than I thought! I don't know, I don't know. Can I do a good Aussie impression? Oh, oh, by the way, fun fact. The uh, three main antagonists under Magus are based upon uh, American rock culture, which is Ozzy, the singer, Flea, uh, bassist, and then Slash, I believe, guitarist, right? Yeah. So we have to fight Flea, Ozzy, and Slash to be able to fight Magus. And, uh, yeah. Wait up. Already? Seems I misjudged you. Okay, 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 Ozzy. Seems I misjudged you. Oh, wait, oh, wait. He has a British accent, doesn't he? Uh, that was not. Okay, I ran it in my head, and it was totally not British. Seems I misjudged you the first time, but I won't do that twice. Oh, twats, I won't do it twats. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it looks like I can at least get two with a cyclone. Let's see how they these these skeletons respond to just physical damage. Damn it! Well, we'll, we'll still find out. Oh, barely. They barely respond to it. So it's gotta be magic. Ice or fire, one of the two just healed those guys. This is important. We're actually building up to figure out what the boss does and does not like, just so everybody's aware.
that fire hit the wrong fucking person. Fire Sword and Ice Sword are both very imperative to, to finishing this up. Is it about time you gave up? Mess with Cody and you'll be sorry. Yeah. Fuck with me and you'll be sorry, bitch. Or very grateful. I don't know. Now we have to figure out which part heals him. Probably his head. So we're going to do a physical attack. We're going to do ice. And then we're going to do fire. It probably has a response mechanism, so we're probably going to get fucked on this. Ice does damage. Fire heals. No fire. Oh, lightning hills, too. So, Ice Sword Dual Tech would probably be the best. After we do a healing tech. If we get the chance, Jesus. I didn't see what physical attacks did to the head from Luca. Or Pookie. Sorry. Okay, everybody's full up on health. Of course. Okay, it does do damage. So give me a combo of Ice Sword for the head. Give me. Uh, oh, oh, damn. Didn't mean to hit a stick. We should have used healing right then and there. MP Buster, that's fine, that's just my magic points. Okay, I'm fucked, but I'm fucked. I'm fucked. It doesn't matter. Attack. Now, he will restore his head, I think. If we don't kill him in a timely manner, he should restore his head. Ah, uh, let's risk it. We're kind of at a fucked point right now. Killed him. Probably fire. So, we will do Aurora on this bitch. We will do a tech of uh, fire just to see what it does. I think fire is what's healing it. No! Ice is healing the bottom half. So attack and then fire. Which means lightning would also probably be effective against the bottom half, but we fucked up. So, it is what it is. There we go! Fuck yeah! Ten toilet papers, 150 Gs. Moving right along, bitches. All right. Uh, what do you have for a hotel in residence? Ah, there's an inn. We'll take it. 
Uh, you like to fuck on the first date? Pray, the end of the world is at hand. Uh, your hand? You, 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 gonna, you gonna end my world with your hand? I'm cool with it. You're looking for the hero? You might have better luck down south in the village for where they say he's from. Don't give a fuck, give me a room. Fifty fucking dollars! That's 2018 wages for a cockroach in. And what is this, like 680? Bummer, no threesome. Alright, so you remember the asshole that was living in 1080? We're gonna go check on his ancestors. Okay. Uh, never, never wanted to talk to you, actually. We only had some spiced jerky. What a wondrous meal that would make. So a monster was in this area. Sure was an ugly frog man. I wish we knew someone like that. Can I buy you a beer? Can I believe the legendary hero is a boy from this very village? Have you heard the latest news? No. Well, then let me be the one to tell you the legendary hero is from our own town. It's WrestleMania! Sorry, anyway. Can't believe the naughty little urchin Tata is the legendary hero. This is important. This is important news. What did your son do? My own son, the legendary hero! Seems I signed myself a champion. Can't say I truly see it, but I don't suppose I ought to question good fortune. Father of the hero, haha, <laughs> I like the ring of it. Don't know why he was like a super Scottish drunk, but here I am. Hey, what do you know? My grandson is the great hero. That's from my side of the family. <laughs> I murdered them all. Okay, anyway. So we can't find Titty's house. Or we, well, we can't find Titty's. Tatas. <laughs> okay. Well. Is that not a shame? My husband Marco hasn't returned from the war. But we planted and tended these woods together. So I mean to do my best to protect until he the day he returns. Well, have I got the thing for you. I like to call it Robo Chef. AKA Astley. Hey Robo, like why aren't you volunteering? A certain series of events that have to happen prior to me propositioning his bitch ass. Probably. Oh, 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 we have a trail. Okay, these guys 
guys are jinglers. Alright, so if we had talked to somebody in the village, they would have been like, Hey, these guys, they like to use uh, fucking wooden tools and use fire and it'll knock it out of their hands. So, once you use fire to disarm them, they become extremely weak. He should throw his hammer. There we go. Just important shit to remember if, you're this, if this is your first playthrough. Uh, watching this fucking channel. Um, but yeah. Fucking ether. We're probably gonna get into a whole shit ton of fights that I didn't mean to. There we go. We still came out clean, so I'm not too mad about it. Oh, 500 bucks. So great. We can, uh, we can now afford 10 nights at the local inn. Most of this game is semantical, like if you want to be super OP, definitely grind along the way, which more than likely we will get into eventually, but as, as for right now, not so much. I just don't really see the point in it. There we go, we kicked some ass, took some names. Now we can afford five nights extra at the local hangout. Sorry, that was straight into the cam. I'll give him the golden helm. He hasn't really gotten anything because he's the main protagonist. Which is like kind of fucked up for a storyline, but... Got a dead enemy too. Fuck yeah. Alright guys.
Yeah, uh, so, yeah. I, I, I think that before we make it too much further, let's, let's just go ahead and make it to the next fucking save point. Um, doesn't seem like, uh, oh, we have quite the, uh, quite the following required. to go ahead and make a uh, viable stream of this, which is not an issue. In, in my sense, there is definitely some level grinding that needs to go down uh, in order to make ourselves far more capable than what we already are. But uh, is there any waterfalls around here? There's supposed to be a drop off location. Uh, will you take me up? No. Oh, you'll take me over though. So we can actually take damage to our party if that guy hits us. With rocks. Which I think is uh, pretty fucking ingenious for 1992. But yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and fight our way to the next save point on this mountain. And I think at that point, uh, it would be absolutely fair to go ahead and call it quits. For tonight, um... Yeah. Just tell me what y'all think, because, I mean, if it's dedicated followers, cool. If it's lurkers, I appreciate the lurk love, but, um, I don't, I don't want to make huge story progress during only lurk love eras, if that makes any lick of sense. Because this is this is for everybody to enjoy. So looks a lot like Lurk Club. So welcome to the stream. But, yeah. Sorry, uh, since I'm not leveling my characters appropriately to be overpowered, I am having to focus on the actual fights themselves. Which is kind of an abnormality uh, whenever I play games, just because <clears throat> the way that I, I run the game mechanics. But, all the same, that's a reaction, not a fight tech. Okay. That was fighting. Alright. But yeah. So I, th I think that we will definitely go ahead and push for that next side point. Prepping for another fight. I think we get like one health point whenever we awake from the fight. You don't really have, like, damage dealing base attacks. Hate to put that out there, we don't. Wrong person to attack, dead motherfuckers. Alright, yeah, so. Uh, we have a bookmark leading up to this location, so... Mad love to everybody, mad love for the lurk love, uh, for the two viewers that we got here today. But, um, I think that we'll start from the base of the mountain, we'll work our way back up. And that will be tomorrow's episode. So, yeah, mad love. I will see you all again tomorrow. Definitely like, follow, everything in between down below. Uh, I got the Discord. I got Twitter. I've got Instagram. Hit them up. And, uh, yeah, that way you can know whenever I'm going to go live again. But I will see you all again 
Tamari. 